Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I finally have my Ipsy Ultimate, the last one ever for December 2020. If you don't know, Ipsy is a beauty subscription, and they have three beauty subscriptions. They have the $12 beauty subscription. I'm going to keep saying beauty subscription. They have the $12 beauty bag and you get five sample size products. They have the Ipsy Plus, which is $25. You get five full size beauty products and you get to pick three and the Ipsy bag, you get to pick one. And then they're going to have the Ipsy X and I believe that comes out every three months and it's supposed to be high end beauty. And I think it might be $55, but I always forget the price. So don't quote me on that. I'll look it up and put it in my description box. This is the Ipsy Ultimate. It is, it was $50 a month. I think I heard my bunny. It was $50 a month, but they're no longer having it, which I think is good because I don't think the Ipsy Ultimate was ever that good. But anyway, here is my box. It's been through, <laughs> it's been through a lot. This, this box was shipped on the 9th. <laughs> no, it was shipped on the 5th and it got lost on the 9th. So let's hope this guy is okay and it didn't go, the products inside are okay. All right, so when you open up the box, it looks like this. And, oh gosh, it's a mess. <gasps> they gave, for the last month of, I mean for their last box ever, they actually gave you a pamphlet talking about everything that's in your box, which is great. So I don't have to look it up on my app. All right. So it says home for the holidays, December, 2020. And let's begin. Let's do this. The first thing I'm pulling out is the restorative reconstructor. Wow. That sounds intense. <laughs> it's an intense fortifying mask and it's for your hair. And I love hair masks. I really, really like hair masks. Sometimes I go a little crazy on them and I use them too much and my hair like looks flat or oily, but I love trying new ones. So this retails for $28. This mask, this mask is to help strengthen your hair and restore broken bonds from inside out. So it says coat your strands before workout and let the heat from your scalp help the mask work even better. I don't know if, not that I work out, cause I don't, I don't, I do not work out. I do walk to my fridge fast <laughs> to get a snack if that's a workout, but I don't work out. I do go for walks and I used to jog until I blew my knee out. But anyway, I don't think I would want to put a hair mask on my head and have that on my head while I'm sweating. That just, that just sounds a little uncomfortable, but I'm not upset about this. Oh, and this is by Kenra Platinum. Kenra Platinum Restorative Reconstructor. Reconstructor. It's just the word reconstructor. It just sounds intense. Okay. The next thing is this. And this is the Silk Hydration Face Primer. Let's see. Okay. Right here. Flawless makeup starts with a perfect primer. Like this one right here. Not only does it blur imperfections and give skin a soft touch finish, it helps grip whatever makeup you put on top for a long wearing finish. And this retails for $30. And it's by Studio Makeup. Has anyone used this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. I do like primers. I forget pr to put primer on sometimes. Like today I didn't put primer on, but I also put my makeup on like, I don't know, five hours ago. But, oh, okay. It is very, it doesn't have a scent. It feels like a lotion, actually. It feels like a lotion. Oh, it's balling up though. Huh. It started balling up on my hand. I wonder why. Maybe I have like something on my hand, like a lotion or something. But anyway, I'm not bad at getting a primer. I'll definitely use it. The next thing is this, and this is a chapstick. And it says smile for a cause. And it's in peppermint cream. And it's infused with real peppermint oil and a hint of vanilla to give your lips a nice zing. If they are saying this is a full, it's because it says it's a full size and it retails for $5.99. If this is one of my full size products and this wasn't their last month, you'd be seeing me complain. But since it's their last month, I'm not going to complain, but that's ridiculous if they use that as your full size product. No. Okay. The next thing is this, and this is by Tula and this is a face cleanser. I am so excited to be getting Tula because I don't purchase Tula because I think it's very expensive and I just, 
I've never purchased it on my own, but this year has been the year for Tula. It's been in so many subscription boxes and it never was, not until this year. This retails for $28 and this is a refreshing gel formula. It gets rid of dirt and makeup without stripping your skin of its moisture. It has lots of healthy ingredients, including chicory root, chicory root, Chic chicory or chicory? a natural anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, rich turmeric root and blueberry and probiotics to hydrate. So I'm very excited about this. Super excited about this. Okay, and the next thing is this, and this is Florence and it's built to lash mascara. I love getting mascara. This retails for 14, oh my gosh, you can see all the product in it. Can you guys see that? It's literally see-through. Like that's the product there and right there. So that's how full your mascaras are when you get them. Look at that. I've never had a see-through mascara. Okay, this is by Florence. An actress at Millie Bobby Brown was not messing around when she named this mascara Lash Lengthening. One coat elongated the look of our lashes so intensely, you'd swear we got extensions. And this retails for $14. Millie Bobby Brown? Girl, did you do this? Mm. Oh, here's the wand. I'm very excited. If Millie Bobby Brown likes it and she created it, I'm using it and I'm going to love it. Did I take it away too fast? Here is the wand. I wonder if it's good. I'm super excited. But you've got to like mix it around because it's all the way at the bottom. So you want to mix it around. But it's totally see-through. I'm very excited about this. The next thing is this. And this is by Clarity. And it's a Glimmer of Hope Shimmering Facial Oil. Had to do it. Had to. Okay. Where you at? Where are you? Here we go. This retails for $48. It's a shimmering facial oil. So is there glitter or something? I don't see any. Okay. This is this blend of organic oils, including coconut rose, squalene, and more deeply and more deeply nourished while also fighting dullness, sun damage, and unwanted texture. Okay. I don't really use facial oils a lot just because I always get scared because I have an oily T-zone and I don't want to put more oil on my face. The next thing is this. I got this in I got this in my Ipsy PR in the beginning of the month. This is the Verified 2020 eye cream and it retails for 68 freaking dollars. Less expensive. And it says depuffing cu cucumber extract brightening niacinamide, firming peptides, and phytoglycogen -gly are in this. I don't know what any of that meant. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know what I just read because that was the most confusing sentence I've ever read in my life. This is what it looks like. I've really liked the packaging. I love that color green. I'm going to put this aside for a giveaway. I've been using it. I don't know. To, <clears throat> I just went through puberty just a second ago. I don't know if it actually works just because I haven't noticed like a significant difference around my eyes, but it feels really nice. So that's all I can say. Next thing is this, and this is Hey Honey, Honey Day Night Moisturing Cream, enriches and revitalizes face, neck, and eye area. Oh, so you can put it everywhere. Okay. This is a sample and... It's a deluxe sample. So it's just a face moisturizer. I don't think you guys need to me to read about a face moisturizer, but I do like Hey Honey products a lot. Okay, the next thing is this, and this is the Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher. And I think I chose this, if I remember correctly. Let me see, did they tell me if I chose it? No, it doesn't say if I chose it or not, but I remember choosing it. Okay, this retails for $25 says use this multi-purpose powder finisher as a face highlighter, eyeshadow, body illuminator, or lipstick topper. It's made of ultra fine pink and silver pearl pigments that melt onto the skin for a luminous glow. Let's see. I'm excited about this. I do have some of the Artist Couture loose 
highlighters and I don't grab for them very often because they're very glittery like super super glittery and they kind of they look like they would be a very fine powder but they're kind of like rough so I don't grab for it often but I do know that they do make good products and I am excited to open this up and see it if I would just stop talking oh so it's a loose pigment they did say that right so what is this it's just a highlighter I guess so did I show you guys the actual product? Here it, it is, right here. Let's get some into the lid. Hold on, let's get some into the lid. This would probably be really pretty as an eyeshadow topper. Really, really pretty. All right, so, oh, goodness gracious, it's glitter. Oh, it's chunky glitter. I didn't realize that it was chunky glitter. Didn't they say fine? Ultra fine, that is so oh wait i'm wrong that is ultra fine it goes out that's beautiful oh, you guys that's so pretty see see what happens when you open your mouth way too fast and you make a judgment too fast you are just proven wrong that is beautiful oh gosh it looks gold in some lights and then it looks pink in the other lights like it looks pink right there but it looks gold when you look at it flat. That is absolutely stunning. I'm so glad I picked that. Good job, Ab. Good job. Okay. The next thing is this. This is the Evelyn Rose Soft Touch Face Foam. So this is by Crabtree and Evelyn. It's a face wash. And this is a sample. And it says this gentle wash removes it all from excess oil to long wear makeup without stripping or compromising your delicate skin barrier. So we have another face wash. And then we have... Oh! Here's the bag. This is what the bag looks like. I just cannot stand the way these feel. And it's so disappointing because they're cute. Like this month, these bags are super cute, but the, they feel like a cotton ball. And that just gives me, like it skeeves me out a little bit. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like it goes throughout my whole body. But they're so cute. Like doesn't that look like a little pillow? Super adorable. Okay, next thing is this. And this is the... Precision Liquid Liner. It's a felt tip, and it's I'm assuming this is in black. This is by Estate. This must be black. Let's see. Okay. This retails for $12. Whether you want to create thick lines, thin lines, or something in between, this versatile liquid liner has got you covered. The Ultra Fine Felt Tip makes it easy to be super precise, and the long-lasting formula won't smear or fade throughout the day. Um, I use felt tip eyeliners all the time, so I'm not mad at getting it. I just wish that they would change it up sometimes and give you like a different colored eyeliner. And there we go. That did, that was really nice. If it dries down matte, then we're good to go. And the last but not least is this. And this is full-time eyeshadow palette, the Party Edit. Silky, billable shades curated for special occasions. And this is by Complex Culture, retails for $28, curated by professional makeup artists. This good time approved palette is here to help you get glam without the guesswork. This is the most basic eyeshadow palette packaging I have seen in a very long time. I'm not like throwing shade, it's just basic. So inside when you open it up, it has a full mirror right here, and then you get this and it has brushes on it. It says step one, all over shadow, step two, easy crease definer, and step three, precision eyelid. So it gives you what the brushes look like. I don't know if my light will pick it up, but there's the brushes and then what you should use. I think that's a little interesting. And then here are the shades, and they're very pretty. They're very, very pretty. Like this is something that I would grab for all the time if they're good. All right, so here's the entire palette. This shimmer right here is absolutely stunning. It has like a little bit of red and green and brown. It's, it's like such a, it's a duo chrome. It's beautiful. I will, these swatched absolutely beautifully. I didn't have one issue with any of the swatches. They were pigmented and the shadows are very soft. Like shockingly, they swatch shockingly well. Like absolutely great. And the shimmers, 
Like this is a rose gold shimmer right here. And it's not like this crazy shimmer. It's like a wet shimmer. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. I'm really excited about this. This is like my perfect palette. Not that I know how it's going to, um, hold on. I just need to do this real quick because I love this. Oh, not that I know how it's going to perform, but these colors are like my perfect, like everyday kind of palette. I'm very excited to try these out. Let me know if you guys want me to tell you guys how it worked and if it's good or not. Let me give you an overall value of this box. The overall value of the Ipsy Ultimate for December 2020 is $286.99. Fantastic value. It was really good. And I didn't include the two sample sizes that we got, which we got all full size except for two sample sizes. That's great. I mean, it was such a good box. Uh, anyway, it was $286.99 for the overall value. Great overall value. I just thought it was so good. Such a great box. I wish they were all like this every month. So... All right, guys, that is it for today. If you get Ipsy Ultimate, did you like your last box? Are we box twins? Let me know in the comments below. If you didn't get the Ultimate, are you going to be getting the new Ipsy X? Let me know if you're going to get that. I'm excited for that. And I have no idea when the first box is, but whenever it is, I can't wait to get my hands on it because I am super excited. But all right, guys, that is it for today. I'll make sure to link everything in my description box down below so you can go check it out for yourself. I hope you guys are having a really, really great day. Have a great week, and I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.